Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We're back again with another scandalous dose of Harry and Meghan piping hot takes. And let me tell you, this latest incident has my blood absolutely boiling. Seriously, strap yourselves in because I'm about to go buck wild with the fury on this one. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now, here's the situation. Our old pal Prince Petulant and his insufferable wife Megan just got back from their totally not a royal tour tour of Nigeria. And after milking that poverty-stricken nation for all the staged photo ops and hollow NGO PR they could, what does Harry do? He has the audacity, the unmitigated gall, to take a gigantic steaming dump all over his own family back in the UK. That's right, in a shocking interview, Randy Harry decided to take some incredibly disrespectful potshots at the royal family, smugly insinuating that they're all a bunch of dusty old farts who don't know how to properly meet the people and bring about positive change like he and his wife do on their virtuous woke barnstorming tours. I mean, wow, just wow. The entitlement, the arrogance, the unbelievable lack of self-awareness and decency. It's staggering even for these two. As royal biographer and Cardinal Harry truth teller Angela Levin so perfectly put it, this is a cruel and awful snub to the very institution that once embraced this ungrateful little mama's boy. For him to throw his family and their entire modus operandi under the bus like that in service of his own self-aggrandizing messiah complex. Absolutely disgraceful and unforgivable behavior from a so-called prince. You can almost picture the smug look of satisfaction on Harry's face as he delivered those cutthroat remarks too. Like he was finally extracting some kind of long-awaited revenge against the monarchy for all his perceived childhood slights and trauma. As if their traditional approach of traveling humbly, avoiding spectacle, and putting crown over self for centuries is something to be mocked. It's the same old selfish, we know better than you arrogance these two clowns have exhibited from day one of Meg Exit. And let's be real here. We all know where this sudden hostility against his own blood is coming from, don't we? None other than the poisonous, self-serving words dribbling straight from the mouth of this evil puppet master wife, Megan. This has her slimy fingerprints all over it. We're all too familiar with her insidious game at this point. Anytime Harry does or says something drastically hurtful or inflammatory against the royals, you can trace it back to Megan's steadily increasing alienation crusade against them. This merciless battle to drive a wedge between father and son, brother and brother. She's the yin to his yang of resentment and rage toward the family he profited off of for decades. Just listen to how giddy and self-satisfied Megan sounded as she postured and virtue signaled through their hollow NGO sideshows in Nigeria. Taking time out to patronize disadvantaged people by rapidly shaking their hands and posing for awkward photo ops before scurrying off to the next PR opportunity. No genuine compassion or sincerity in sight, just clinical, calculated optics as they peddle themselves as some kind of woke imitation Kennedys. Does it get any more arrogant and tone deaf than two absurdly wealthy drama queens desperately trying to recast themselves as some kind of people's roidals? giving themselves overinflated pats on the back about listening to the people and bringing about solutions like their Che Guevara, while the actual royals have spent their entire lives selflessly working in service to the very same underprivileged communities and causes. It's beyond parody at this point. You can see why these two grifters are under a constant cloud of controversy and scrutiny. They're incapable of acting in good faith or embodying an ounce of humility always having to one-up and diminish everyone else's contributions in their sad quest for relevance and media adulation. For Harry to so brazenly disrespect the very real humanitarian work done by the royal family for decades is downright appalling. Of course, taken at face value, his comments pose an interesting philosophical question. Who in their right mind actually believes the British royals don't know how to meet the people at the heart of the causes they support? This family has spent hundreds of years acting as statesmen and ambassadors of the Commonwealth. They pioneered the role of representing the less fortunate and raising global awareness for overlooked communities long before Harry and Meghan were even a figment. 
The crowd has arguably done more tangible, meaningful philanthropy work for the world than all of Macon and Harry's shallow, superficial self-promotion tours combined. Through steadfast lifelong commitment and quiet, dignified servant leadership, not through brief flashes of parachuting into third world nations for fleeting publicity and oversaturating social media with sappy sloganeering messages and posed candidates. That's the distinction these two chronically fail to understand. And for what it's worth, even in the modern post-Diana era, the likes of Prince William and Kate have carried forward the family's legacy of down-to-earth compassionate outreach beautifully. Their relatable, accessible approach of directly connecting with the common folk is unimpeachable. No phony preaching or woke word salad lectures required, just us munging their hands with the populace as a humble representative figurehead should. You can dress it up any way you want, but at the end of the day, Harry's inflammatory comments were nothing more than bitterly lashing out with lies and disrespecting the very foundation he owes his entire existence to. And mark my words, it's only going to further isolate him amongst his rapidly dwindling circle of ardent supporters and bootlickers in the media. Angela Levin is already out for blood, and you know the other venerable royal experts are sharpening their knives as we speak. Because the more we see unforgivable stunts like this needless provocation from Harry, the more it becomes clear he's devolving into nothing more than Macon's favorite little lapdog mouthpiece for regurgitating her poisonous agenda. Bending to her deepest whims and insecurities of belittling the crown's unimpeachable glory at every turn. With every fresh humiliation hurled towards his family, Harry is swiftly torching through the very last shreds of remaining respect or goodwill the public holds for him. So congratulations, Harry. You successfully amplified Macon's repulsive contempt for your own family and birthright with your horribly poor judgment once again. I guess the old saying is true. Behind every spineless husband detached from reality is an even more profoundly insecure, conniving wife kiss lighting and using him for her own selfish aims. Somehow you've managed to stoop to a new low even after the shocking disgraces of the past few years. It's equal parts disturbing and pathetic to witness what a weakling you've become. If Daddy Prince Charles or Big Brother William had even an iota of respect or familial love left for you, it's been relentlessly chipped away into nothingness over these latest shots you've disgracefully taken. Any shred of honor you once had is now fully extinguished. At this rate, the only real question that remains is how much lower you and Megan the wife are willing to debase yourselves by sucking up to those third world nation masses you so flagrantly pander to. But I have a feeling we'll all find out soon enough. So what do you guys think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comment and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.